Now, obviously, if you're a smart person, you probably figured out that the next thing I'm going to talk about is handguns, and you would be correct. Hi folks, welcome back to the Patriot Arsenal video series and this is the third video. I am Paul Markle, host of Student of the Gun. Now during the first video we talked about the AR-15. During the second video we talked about using or employing a pump action or a slide action 12 gauge shotgun of some type. Now in the United States of America there's a tremendous number of handguns available to the American citizen. Uh, I couldn't even name them all in this video and I'm not going to try. But what I will recommend is one specific type or style of handgun that you should have in your kit. Now you can have others, I don't care. The one that I will recommend that you absolutely have, and when it comes to the Patriot Arsenal, it's a minimum list. Three guns that you should absolutely have. You can have more than that, but these are the three that you should absolutely have. In here what I have is a Century Arms or a Canik TP9SA. This is the original SA, um, not the version 2. Uh, you can still find these right now. They're very, very inexpensive. And this one right here is a striker fired 9mm handgun. And that is exactly the type of handgun that you should have in your kit. You should have a 9mm striker fired polymer framed handgun. I don't care who manufactured it, but those things are very important. Why are they important? Well, number one, because it's a striker fired gun, like this one right here, there are very few external controls. There aren't any decocking levers. Well, there is one here, but you don't have to use it. Uh, the trigger is essentially the safety and activator. It has a safety in the trigger. You load it, you point it, you press it. Why nine millimeter? Well, number one, nine millimeter is the most widely available center fire handgun ammunition in the United States of America. You can get it pretty much everywhere. You can get it in all types of varieties, from really inexpensive practice ammo to very expensive defensive ammo. It doesn't recoil that much. And like we said with the AR-15, these may be guns that you are handing to family members, your spouse, your teenage children, anyone who is a responsible adult human, you may have to hand them a gun and say, look, Use this to defend the family, to defend your life. You want it to be as simple and straightforward as possible. And that's why I recommend a 9mm handgun. I have another one in here. This one is a little bit different. This is a newer gun. This is the Canik TP9DA. So it has a first shot double action. That is, if you hit the decocker, then your first shot is a double action. And then the second shot is a single action. But this mag this gun uses the same magazines as the original. All the TP9 full-size guns use the exact same magazines, so that is nice. And they are full capacity magazines for those of us who live in free America. And you'll notice in this case, in this Patriot case, there are two levels. The top level is a rifle, the bottom level is extra magazines and pistols. So. My recommendation to you for your Patriot Arsenal is an AR-15 rifle, pump action shotgun, and 12 gauge, and lastly, some style or type of 9mm polymer framed striker fired handgun.